According to the World Health Organization, air pollution may be responsible for 800,000 premature deaths worldwide every year. And Asia is one of the most polluted regions. We're far from being one of the world's worst affected cities, but that will come as little consolation to those of us trying to gasp our way around Hong Kong's streets on particularly bad days. But as most of our air pollution comes from the mainland, is the SAR government willing or able to tackle it? Hong Kong's air quality is getting worse. Diseases related to air pollution cost the SAR $1.7 billion every year. Over 60,000 people live in the new town of Tung Chung on Lantau Island. We are suffering an, an all system, particularly the respiratory system, the heart, our eyes, all are actually suffering from the effect of the pollut pollutant. The carbon dioxide, the nitrous oxide and the particles in air is causing a lot of damage to our body. Power generation is a major source of air pollutants. While it's true that much of the air pollution we suffer blows down from the mainland, Hong Kong companies share some of the responsibility. Over half of the electricity generated from coal in the Pearl River Delta is produced by power plants, either operated or invested in by Hong Kong companies. Whoever's responsible, the pollution is costing the SAR. A recent Hong Kong General Chamber of Commerce survey found that over 80 percent of its members who responded were dissatisfied with local air quality. Last year, just 68 percent expressed dissatisfaction. Now, in order to improve coal-fired power stations, both the Hong Kong and Guangdong governments have entered into uh, arrangements with each other to promote um, the use of uh, low-sulfur fuels for coal and also uh, the retrofitting of uh, flue gas desulfurization in the flues which, which uh, the uh, emissions come out of um, when, the, uh, when the coal is being burned. Now, that's had some success, especially with people like uh, CLP and Hong Kong Electric. It's a bit more difficult in, uh, in Guangdong province for people from Hong Kong to, to influence that. This week, James Tin tabled a motion asking the SAR administration to work vigorously with the Guangdong authorities to reduce air pollution in Hong Kong. It's an issue of increasing importance. The city's poor air quality is beginning to earn its a less than desirable reputation internationally. Outside the chamber, the environmental campaign group Clear the Air said that Hong Kong companies should shoulder the burden for their contribution to the smog. What the Liberal Party can do is to ask New World, the New World Group, Hopewell Holdings and Chen Kong Infrastructure to install comprehensive anti-pollution equipment on the power station they co-own or operate. Since these power stations use coal and they are located in Chu Tiang, He Yuan, Shenzhen and Chu Hai. Inside the chamber, legislators focused more on the relatively small mainland factories and power stations. Gongsaman 我們已經知道了,我們有這個SIPA,香港人很實,非常讚賞的。The motion was passed with amendments. 
But James Tin was not happy with the response by the Secretary for the Environment, Transport and Works, Sarah Liao. He said that the minister had not fully addressed the 80 percent of Hong Kong pollution that came from the mainland. He added that he's going to consult his colleagues in the chamber and get together with members of the National People's Congress and the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference to voice local concerns to the central government. And that's it for this week. We'll see you again on Christmas Eve. Until then, you'd better get that Christmas shopping done. Good night.